Hi, my name is Tommy. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to try out the different video modes on the DJI Vata and see if it's worth editing in gyro flow and uh, having the DCINA like color modes or if you should just use the built in options on the Avata and maybe even try the if I can get 120 frames per second. So I love visiting this bit weird places around where I live. Uh, so let's let's try first what it looks like with the normal things I use usually use. So this is just a decent like option and I will show you in editing gyro flow what it looks like when it's passed through the gyro flow software the boring part is that when you have it editing in gyro flow it takes a lot of time this is such a cool place to visit right now i'm flying in manual mode as you can see uh, not in manual mode in normal mode So I think the video will be quite stable without the even gyro flow. Shouldn't be an issue really. So I'm losing a bit of GPS signal here, I see. It keep, keeps drifting, so you have to be on your be on your toes. It's an awesome place. Look at all the water flowing. It's beautiful. So this is how I normally fly and and edit in Gyroflow and uh, create an extra file from that that's stabilized. The good thing is you can um, edit it afterwards and add uh, horizon steady, or what you call it. So you have the level uh, horizon when you're flying, so it doesn't matter if you do flips or anything, it will keep the image stabilized all the time. But it takes a lot of time for the computer to process and it creates double the files so you have to either delete the original or keep uh, twice as much on your hard drive so. so what if we change some settings here let's just set it hovering here We we'll have to pause the recording. So let's go to the camera. Let's take the rock study. Camera field view ultra wide. And so let's see if that makes a difference. So now I'm flying. This won't be edited in the gyro flow. This is straight from the straight from the drone itself without gyro flow. So you don't have to do double double files and so on. And also I changed it to an even wider angle. So you can really see the forest around you. Looks great here too. And 
this is still in the cine like color mode. Oh, there's a branch. Let's be careful, I don't want to drop this in here. There's that, and let's see how it handles a little flight in manual mode. Where I'm, here I am. Even in the goggles, I think it might be steady, steady already here. If I'm not just imagining it, but in the DVR, in the goggles themselves, it looks steadier in flight. It doesn't vibrate as much. Might be my imagination. So, then let's uh, compare the colors too and see what difference does it make. So let's uh, hover here, pause the recording again, so uh, settings, camera, I'll put it back to wide, or we can do horizon steady. Uh, Horizon Steady only allows the normal field of view. So let's see what it looks like. Yeah. I have more time on the battery, so why not? Let's see how long this video will be. And this is with the Horizon Steady enabled, so it should. Uh, Should keep the horizon pretty level, I hope. High turns might not be that great. Let's look out for the branch again. Oh, there's a, something biting my hand. Sorry about that. And some more branches. So what does happen when you do horizon steady and manual mode? Can you do that? I have no idea. So There was a flip and a roll and a roll and now a flip. Another flip and roll. The field of view is a lot narrower than it's in normal mode with this um, Horizon Steady option. Still got a couple of minutes left, so let's try the color modes. I'm gonna go to camera. Turn Rock steady on. Advanced camera settings. Let's change color to normal. And uh, anti flicker on auto.
I will fly it with the uh, rock steady and uh, ultra wide because I can. So. So this is with uh, normal color mode instead of the cine like. Straight off in the goggles, it looks very bright and very colored. I've flown with the cine like like since I got the drone. So I'm not really used to having this this much color. Looks beautiful in the in the goggles themselves. Then again, we'll have to compare them with uh, some color grading and post processing on the previous clips and see which one does look better. Sorry, auto return to home. A little panic there. So close, so it could have gone through some woods, and that wouldn't be great. You can really see the colors here out in the open. And I'm not, I'm always only using the CPL filter as a lens shield, pretty much. So I'm not flying with uh, any ND filters today, as the, I see it's cloudy day. So I don't think it's needed at the moment. Really don't like the return to home function. Come on, let me try it. So let's land it for now. And you can see how quiet it is. So now let's see what it looks like to have it in 120 frames per second. I think it will look really nice with the flowing water down there. So, hang on, let's have a look. So, rock steady with the wide angle, or super wide or what it's called. And uh, 2.7K, but it 120 frames per second. I will probably slow down the footage in places. Yes, you can do that with uh, you can do a bit with the 60 frames per second down to like half the speed. Whoa! Really don't like when it loses GPS. You poop your pants. And um, let's see. Come on forward. I don't know where you think you are. Oh, SD card right and read speed is slow. I got the extreme V30 card, I think. Uh, I don't know why it's that's too slow. But let's see. What does it do in manual mode? In, uh, I don't even have a 4K screen to 
look at the footage. So on my screens, it might even look just as good. And, um, Let's hope it doesn't ruin the footage when it complains about the SD card speed. I have had some issues with the card that it has lagged for some reason. So there might be something wrong with the card itself, maybe. Hopefully we get something from this. I have formatted the card pretty recently and that did uh, improve it so it doesn't lag anymore. But uh, at least when I'm usually filming in 4K 60, uh, then it has worked fine. So do you have tips on a car I could use or um, if I just should get another one the same type? Here's my trusty spotter. and branches. See if we change it back to the four K sixty rock steady. It's uh, moose hunting season here in Sweden, so you don't want to maybe go too far out in the forest, but this is a pretty public place. A lot of tourist visits, so it shouldn't be an issue.
a really beautiful place this. I think I will have to come back someday. Just so much fun. We got to... Oh crap, just as the battery went down. Let's, uh... Let's go home instead. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and uh, see you next time. Yo, we scored it, we scored. Yo, we scored. We scored, we scored, we scored. So that's what I have for you at the moment. Thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe if you like the comparison video and if you like to see more of things like this. Oh, tick. Do I have more? Oh, no panic.